All right, welcome on into our office here at the Daily Targum in New Brunswick, New Jersey. I'm Garrett Stepien, joined alongside Brian Fonseca, our sports editor. And we're going to preview the Rutgers men's basketball team's first round matchup in the Big Ten tournament against the Nebraska Cornhuskers. The Scarlet Knights are 7-24, 1-17 in Big Ten play. Nebraska is 14-17 and 6-12 and in Big Ten play. Uh, the first round matchup is Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time at Bankers Life Fieldhouse in Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana. And Brian, the last two times that Rutgers did play Nebraska this year, it didn't really end up well in their favor. Uh, yeah, Garrett, the first time they played was here in Piscataway. Uh, Rutgers left their home uh, court with a 34-point loss to the Cornhuskers. When they went to Lincoln to get a rematch, they left with a 24-point loss. But that loss came without a uh, star and leading scorer, Corey Sanders. Corey Sanders on the year is averaging 16.2 points per game, was actually snub of the Big Ten freshman team, so have to wonder if that's going to be a motivating factor for him. He was he did receive an honorable mention for from the Big Ten media. The Rutgers is coming in here with coming into this Big Ten tournament on a little bit of a momentum, Brian. Uh, uh, the Scarlet Knights snapped a 17-game losing streak, the longest in program history, and a conference losing streak at 32 losses dating back to last year. Yeah, it's been a really rough stretch for Rutgers. The last win before their win on Senior Day Saturday against Minnesota was in a huge upset over eventual national runners up Wisconsin at home, the biggest upset in school history. But the game between that Wisconsin game and, and Saturday night was a really long stretch. You could tell the players were very frustrated. You could tell that it was weighing on them. And it was a really uh, strong way for them to end the season, give their seniors a win to close out their careers. And that is, this is the first time Rutgers has had momentum going to any game since their win against UMass Lowell December 28th. Uh, and coming off of that win, they had a seven point game against a Big Ten regular season champions, Indiana. So maybe we can see that with this momentum, Rutgers could do something against uh, the Cornhuskers on Wednesday. Rutgers is at as much full health as, as they've been all season long, uh, beating a depleted Minnesota team with five scholarship players while Rutgers had nine. Uh, do we have any predictions, Brian, going into this first round matchup? A lot of, you know, Rutgers obviously has an uphill battle. I, do, I don't think Rutgers will be able to pull out this win just because of the way the season's been going and like you mentioned, the previous results. But I do think they can keep it competitive, maybe even keep it to a single digit loss, but I can't see Rutgers leaving the first round in Indianapolis. Looks like we'll find out uh, Wednesday night. Again, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time, Rutgers, Nebraska, tipping off with the Big Ten tournament. For Brian Fonseca, I'm Garrett Stepien, signing off.